Hey, this is Mark. I'm going to play a song by Phil Wickham and show you the changes. This is the song, You're Beautiful. I'm going to show you the changes the way that Phil Wickham plays them. They're actually pretty unique. He does some very unique things on his guitar to make it sound very open and full. And I'll teach you a little bit more about that as we go on. But first off, let's talk about the tuning that we're in. We have dropped down a whole step. What does that mean? If this was our starting note and we wanted to drop a half step, we would go backwards one fret. If we go backwards two, that is a whole step. So we have dropped the tuning of our guitar down from the standard E tuning, where this string right here is the low E string typically. Now it is a D. So from an E to a D, that's a whole step. E, D sharp, D. So E is now a D. The A is now a G. The D here is now a C. The before a G here is now an F. And this B here is now an A. This E here is now a D. So it sounds like this. D. G. C. F. D. So here's a D chord now. Hear how full that sounds? So one of the things that Phil does to get those really full chord sounds is he alters the typical chord uh, positions that we would normally use. So if we were going to use on a standard guitar in E tuning, this would be an E chord. Now because we've dropped, we're actually playing a D now. It's a nice sounding chord, but what he does is he actually alters that to this. So we just get a more full sound. What that is caused by is adding more octaves close together in the chord. So in this case, we have an octave here, a D, and a D by pressing there. And also here we have an A note, and then we have an A note here. Whoops, can't find it. There it is. So we have D, A, D, A. And then we leave these two strings open on the bottom and we get this. Let me show that to you very slowly because I'm sure you're going, did that too fast? Slow down! Here we go. So our first chord is our D chord. So we take our index finger on the second fret, fifth string from the bottom. And we're actually going to get that note, but we're going to lay the finger down flat and get the note below it too. So that's this note right here, second fret also. So we just lay the index finger down, let it relax. Then we're going to take the pinky, pinky. We could use the ring, but we're going to use the pinky because it makes the cording a little easier later. And we're going to put the pinky on the third string from the bottom, right here on the fourth fret. One, two, three, four. So we got this finger up here on second fret and the pinky down here. We're going to roll the hand up Notice how I'm kind of flattening my finger like that. My index is going to kind of do a little arch so I can get a, uh, it nice and clean but without touching the strings below. And we get this nice big open sound. Beautiful, right? So that is our first chord in this Phil Wickham song, You're Beautiful. I'm doing some muting back here. The muting will be shown on another video that I hope to make after this one on hand muting. But suffice to say, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. There's a second chord. This is now dropping down to a G. And the way that we did that is we left the pinky in the same place. We took the index finger, which was flattening out and hitting two. Uh, strings, we're going to drop it downward and just get one string. So now it's leaving that one open and catching this one. And this drops us actually to a G or officially a G second. So it's going to sound like this. Now our next chord in this progression is a B minor. And the way we're going to do that is by leaving these two fingers in exactly the same place. 
and we're going to take the ring finger and put it up above the pinky. This may feel like a stretch, but just kind of turn the hand a little bit. Twist your hand by moving your elbow outward to the left if you're a left-handed guitarist, to the right if you're a right-handed guitarist. And that gives you a little bit more freedom there. So just a little twist. So now we've gone from here to right here. Fourth fret, fifth string from the bottom. And this is a B minor. So here's this again from the top, our D chord. Do that again. D, G, B minor. And then the next one is an A. And that one we make by just a very subtle shift too. So we were here on the B minor. So I'm going to drop the ring finger down one fret, I mean one string, on the fourth fret still. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to raise my index finger back up to where it was originally to that fifth string. So now what we get is this. Let's open it up. I took my hand off the mute, took it away from the guitar, and just strummed. We got a really nice, big, fat, open sound. And that is how we do Phil Wickham's You're Beautiful. Those are the chords. Notice the counting I was doing. I'll show you some of the, uh, the muting a little bit over here, but we'll explain that in a later video. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, I'll show you those chords later, but there's how you play. Feel welcome, you're beautiful.